Well, the temperature is now warming up, and that, of course, means the cicadas will be emerging across the Miami Valley likely this week. So new here on 5 on 2, Storm Team 2 meteorologist Carly Smith tells you how to get your pets ready for the temptation of a new snack. Adult cicadas are being spotted in Warren and Butler County. And as the temperatures heat up this week, we will see the cicada nymphs emerging from their burrows across the Miami Valley. Expect them to be crawling up trunks of trees, up walls, up swing sets when they first emerge and shed their last nymphal skin. After three to five days, the exoskeleton hardens and the red-eyed creatures will be flying around. Pets won't show as much interest in the shells since they're not moving. I think the sequence of events will be uh, the bugs are moving and then the dog's interested and then therefore eats it. To avoid a possibly unexpected trip to the vet, you may want to watch your pets just a little bit more closely as they're outside over the next few months. Uh, families with chocolate labs, for instance, the labs are going to love to play with them and most likely eat them. Um, and, and along with eating them comes, of course, an upset stomach and throwing up. There's no toxins. They won't poison the dog. The bugs are not digested well by the dog's stomach. <sighs> it's, you know, that we don't take the cellophane off the Twinkies. You know, <laughs> just, I mean, and actually, actually, it's even worse because that exoskeleton I mean, you have wings, you have all this hard stuff. If a few hours go by and the dog's still not eating, drinking, so he's just laying around and acting mopey, it's always a good idea to bring him into the veterinarian. We can certainly treat uh, the upset stomach. For Storm Team 2, I'm meteorologist Carly Smith.